Consistently be great in bed. Order the book. And if you're watching this live right now, stream, um, share it. And whatever page you're seeing this live on right now, make sure y'all hit the share. You said, why is it so dark? We're in the restaurant, and that's the ambiance of the restaurant. They set the mood. I know y'all want to see my beard, but it's all good. They do want to see your beard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask him about my... She said, thank you for responding. I'm going to ask him about my asparagus. I don't know when I'm going to release it. I haven't decided yet. I knew something was wrong. What? They had the salmon with the scale side up. I'm like, when, where do you see scale? When is scales ever on the top? I had to flip it open. Mm. One day soon. I'm working on it. But y'all, I work at my pace. Thank you. What you working on, cookbook? Yes. 
some of my recipes I have that I have not released the recipe for them. So those that are on my website, I just give those. But I kind of work at a pace. Yeah, she's been giving y'all some free stuff, man. A lot of people don't do that. Free recipes. So make sure y'all get the subscription so you can continue to get some free recipes. Free recipes go to the people with subscriptions. So if you see that subscription button, button hit that subscription button. Bonus content that you will not see on here on the daily will be on there, so hit the subscription. Sure. Cooking videos, all that, like tips on all that, it's going to be there, but you have to have that subscription, you're not going to see everything. Mm -hmm. And then some of my cooking videos will feature you, so <laughs> yeah. that'd be an extra bonus. And if you're cooking, I'll be over there singing and stuff like that. I might sprinkle some salt and pepper on something, you know, you never know. Exactly. Crystal, look at Crystal Shante. Shanti, I'm going to shout you out just because you sent some stars. Thank you. What y'all eating tonight then? That's the big question. What are y'all eating tonight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you silly. You silly. <laughs> somebody, somebody said they'll be at a dessert. Yeah. I was just looking at some chocolate cake that I saw somebody get. I yeah, just said that I was like, ooh, I gotta get that. So I am going to have the chocolate cake for dessert. You want to eat some? Or are you going to get something different? I don't know. You like chocolate? I like, you know, I do. But you know, I love cheesecake, so it depends. Oh, I yeah. That's right. I love chocolate cake, too, though, but that cheesecake is getting a little different sometimes. Making tacos with Philly cheesesteaks. Mmm. Sushi. You say it's too dark? It's cool, man. Just enjoy the ambience. I'm a dark-skinned brother. What we saying? Y'all trying to tell me I'm too dark? Yeah, the brightness is up on my phone, too, so... I'm talking about my complexion. I was teased as a little boy. It is dark. About dark skin. Although I always love my skin. So... It's dark in here, though. Angie D. Williams sent stars. Thank you, Angie. We appreciate you. Pizza? What kind of pizza? Yeah, it's a relaxed environment, so food comes out slow. Give you a, a chance to enjoy each each part of your meal that comes out. Share the stream, share the stream, share the stream. Don't forget to share it and don't forget to double up on the likes. Keep tapping the likes and the hearts. Share, you guys. Mm -hmm. Very cozy. And we have a nice boot and an oversized boot. So we get to spread out as much as we want to. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me say bring the asparagus. Yeah, I didn't even hear you. You didn't. I said it. Yeah, I said it. Um, there you go. Wait, I'm going to ask you. You still want it, though? Okay, go eat it. Excuse me. Um, I had the uh, grilled asparagus. I'm so sorry. Do you um, have it on your list? If not, don't worry about it. But I, just I forgot to, to put it in. Okay. Well, don't worry about it. it. We sure. have the spinach, but I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Yes, I, didn't know, I didn't know it came under a bed of spinning. I wouldn't even got the spinning. I gotta do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good spinach though, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's good spinach though, so Yeah it is. It's, it's local too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you say the salmon was from? What's that? 
Water spinach is local, and that is going to be a line caught right outside of Alaska. So it wasn't like it was a canal or anything. They actually caught that one. So the salmon is from Alaska? Yes. Where you said the steak is from? Uh, that's Chicago. Chicago. But that one there is line caught. There's a difference between you catch it with a net and line caught. If you catch it with a net, they freak out and all the hormones go crazy. Gotcha. You're line caught, less hormones. Okay, wow, cool. learn something new every day. I didn't know that. Right. <laughs> we won't tell anybody. I got to try about the experience. Sorry. We won't tell so, anybody. I never now y'all see. That. Yeah, so now y'all see. I don't be just shooting y'all the shit when I say that the salmon from Dubai and all these different places. The salmon is wild caught, straight from, from Alaska. Alaska. He says, so line caught, that means that the hormones don't go everywhere. Wow, I never knew that. See, see they didn't know. They thought when I was just saying that. We learning, that. we learning, y'all. Okay. I've been teaching for a so long from, time. From now on, I want line caught salmon. I but, want the hormones, women, ladies. You know, we don't want those hormones. So. But Alaska hit a little different, you hear me? Like I said, I ain't even... It, they can season it a little bit better, but it's Alaska, so it came with it. It tastes like Alaska. I should have knew, you know. Usually, I know. We don't need all those seasonings anyway. I think it's flavorful. I don't know. You have your juice over there. Nah, meat needs seasoning. I ain't even gonna cut you down with that one. No, veggies don't. Because mm -hmm. veggies is the seasoning. I'm going to have some of that spinach. You want me to fix your food? Yes, thank you. Pineapple? Onion. Oh, That's good. Thank you. Two for top. Just take a look at the first one. Um, yeah. Mia, love you, Mia. I'm not talking about them lights so much. Man. I'm gonna be just, just, I'm quick. You didn't give them a light. I'm not gonna be on live long, but. And now you can see the beard. That's, that's what y'all want to see the beard Thank with. You. Look at the beard. Look how it looks. HBGSbrand.com. Look at that. Go get that. Song. Go get y'all's beer. HBGSbrand.com. Little salt, little pepper. I like this little container they have. I don't know. I might have to. I could use this at home. What, this container? <laughs> I know we ladies can appreciate things like this. Look at this. Like a little clothes top. It has a salt and pepper in it. It's looking like we at the club now. Let me go put this in my. No, I'm just. I'm not gonna put that on her. <laughs> Thank you. They, they know you weren't gonna do that. They, you don't even look. You don't look hood at all. They know you. My purse is not even big enough to put that in. <laughs> Screw off top. Just twist it like this. You didn't put some on there. I did. I put a little bit. Not too much. We're going to start doing segments every time we go to restaurants. He knows I'm a foodie. I love going to nice restaurants. But you do have a lighted case, so I got to start bringing my lighted case because I didn't realize how uh, dark it was going to be. But we got it right. You looked it up. Hey, what's up? Light. You got two phones. Mm -hmm. I got two phones. <laughs> so, what do you think about this spot? 
or the last one that we went to? What's your favorite? I'll probably say the other spot. Yeah. You know that's my absolute favorite, so I think the food is better there, but I like variety. I don't know, maybe we could start letting them know when, when, uh, which restaurant we're at so they can come and try it. Yes, we are going to cook together. She said that's going to be hilarious. Mia said we should cook together. She said she goes, you're going to be hilarious. Yeah, I already know it. He can throw down in the kitchen too now. A little something. A little something, something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes, cook and eat out. I definitely, honestly, once a week for me is perfect. I like to have a nice restaurant. And it doesn't have to be the most exclusive restaurant. But two times out of the month, it has to be something really exclusive that I like. But date night once a week is imperative for anybody who's dating or going out or friends or whatever. Down. I gotta get me a to go play. I'm cool. Yeah. Having a good time. Yes. All about vibes. I have another spot when we leave here I want to take him to. I don't know if he's going to be down for it though, but he's already saying he did it. Sleepy, yawning <laughs> before we got tired, here. Tired, tired. <laughs> Something else to say. Y'all make sure y'all follow my my alter ego page, Big Twist. I'm gonna be going live more on that page. So I did an important live today on that Big Twist page. So make sure y'all go follow it and watch that live stream. You gotta watch it all the way through. I'm dropping some jewels on that video. And I promise you, you're gonna take a lot of positivity from it. And we need it. In the world the way it is today, it's much needed. Please go listen to that message. Just search Big Twist, go follow that page, and run that video up, share it with everybody. You have to see it. Yes, we need more positivity. So much going on right now in the world. There's a war going on in the Middle East, in Israel. So we definitely we got to do better. Positivity over everything. Mm -hmm. Families are being destroyed. So let's try to get said, more positivity the into the algorithm. I shared the video to my page today, so it's on my page, but just type in Big Twist, just like it sounds, Big Twist. <laughs> great. It's great, thank you. Thanks, Cooper. Perfect. Thank you for coming in. Y'all know I gotta have my glass of wine, so. I love that peanut on the wall myself, but I was already sleepy, so I, I chilled out. That, what y'all gotta know about wine is that it's relaxed. You see what I'm saying? So if you're sleepy, leave it alone. Like if you're sleeping and you out, like how I'm out right now, don't mess with the wine. That's the wine down that thing. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, you're gonna sleep like a baby. Whole body gonna feel good and relaxed. That's what that red wine does. So you don't drink red wine, get you some. Definitely gonna sleep with it. That red wine will have you on your head. Just one glass, but it's mellow. Uh, and it's the healthiest too, like drinking alcoholic beverages, wine is the healthiest. Red wine preferably. I think we went over a few of the good properties of red wine. In the garden. But I mean, you know, you can repeat it because I'm sure they, some people didn't see it, so you can repeat it. You know, that's what the Italians do too. You know, they drink wine. Think about it. With every meal. So a Jesus. Glass, a glass of red wine is good for you once a day. Jesus drunk wine. Turn water into wine. If, if your miracle is turning water into wine, then you know it's healthy. 
You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She said that's what do to her. What, make her sleep? Put her on her head. <laughs> Wine with, man, it'll have you in that mood, too. The mood to do certain things, too, but then you're going to be sleeping. Mm -hmm. Well, I want it to relax me. It's definitely, it's very relaxing. No, it's very relaxing. Like, it's like you're sleeping on a bed of clouds. For real. Yeah. They didn't have my favorite kind today. We won't mention it again. I think I've said it several times, but I got their house keynote tonight. And it's okay. It's cool. Yeah. You know, I want you to taste it though. Not drink it, but just taste it. Let me know what you think about um, our other two favorites. Oh, yeah, I probably, I gotta wait. Look like wait, probably wait another 10 minutes after mm -hmm. Even if you just put it on your tongue Because I think that it's not as strong It's not as dry as the other two mm -hmm. Y'all so remember, remember I told y'all how you do this You can't just wine. sip the wine yeah, If you just that. picking it Listen, if you just picking it up like this You can't, this is, you, this is a no-no y'all In the wine community y'all, y'all know you, you don't just pick the wine up and say, that's a name. Don't do that. It's not going to taste right. So I'm, I'm going to do this one more time. I showed y'all this before in the video. This is what you got to do. So what kind of wine is that? Pinot Noir. Oh, so it's not the usual? No, it's not the usual. It's the house Pinot. House Pinot. They said the name? No, it's their house. So it's a surprise. I mean, it's, okay. it's the name of the restaurant's house. That's so, what was on the menu. It's the name. It's the house. So it's a surprise. You dig what I'm saying? I don't know the name. It's house. Yes. So don't see. House, that means that's their specialty in the Pinot Noir. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all see my pinky? <laughs> if the pinky is touching the glass, sit it down. Okay? So pinky out. Really, ladies hold the stem. You know, men, I know y'all be like, y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. be like, you can't hold it like yeah, that. Y'all want to hold it. Yeah, real man, real man game right here. <laughs> so, and you got yes. to shake it like that. Get it going. By the time you're ready to sip it, it should be a little bit of movement. And you have to smell it. It's not the same if you don't smell it, guys. Like, if you don't smell it, don't drink it. You never know what they put in your... You know what I mean? You got to smell it. If you don't it. drink it, I'm going to... No, I'm going to go ahead and take it from you. Drink it. So this actually smells better than the other one. Somebody asked about dessert. So let's see. We have we have New York cheesecake, key lime tart, baked Alaska. Okay. You gotta be quiet for you to sit. It's not as dry, right? I don't think it's as strong as that. This is good. You like that one? This is good. No, I, I like the stronger one. But I like it. Because that way I can have one glass and I'm good. One, one glass of that I'll have me straight. That's probably why I didn't need to have two of this one. And the people who are mentioning dessert are not talking about no cakes and stuff. I don't have no clue, but I know it's not cakes. We as women, we want to hear about the, the entree, the dessert, and the wine, the drink, all at the same time. Creme brulee. That's what that is? Creme brulee is on here, but I know you like cheesecake. So, you I'm know. Not, I think I'm not even passing on the dessert. Why don't you just get it and take it with you? I can do that. Because you know you like your dessert at night. Yeah, yeah, I definitely can drink it later. I mean, eat it later. have a full appetite at it, so I, I think. So cheesecake it is, and I guess that was the mocha cake that I saw those other people had. Remember I asked you about that? So the only chocolate that's on here is mocha. And it might be it. I got creme brulee last time. We had a mocha somewhere, and it wasn't right. I hope it's good. If it's remember not that good, one, I'm going to be that disappointed. One that chocolate was not right. Remember I was like, I don't like that. Like what was that? Somewhere it was at um no boo. Oh yeah. Mm, it was terrible. Made me think I don't even want to get that. And that name sounds like mocha. Mocha is a dark it's dark it's a dark chocolate. It's not as good. So But you know I like taking to try a chance it anyway. Mocha. So we're gonna do the New York cheesecake and the mocha cake. And then today, was that your first time trying oysters today? 
Okay. I've had it before, but it's, I, I'm not, not the really baked a big with fan it? of it. Okay. So we did have oysters, baked oysters for um, an appetizer. I love oysters, but I can't, the raw ones, I had an experience before that I did not like, so I decided from now on they have to be baked, torched, or something of that nature. Appreciate all the positivity in here, y'all. Again, yeah. by y'all man, the beard oil. HBGSbrand.com. Go get that. The beard oil. It's the best beard oil in the game right now. Get that beard oil, oil ladies. Get it. Because I'm telling you. Yeah. You know what? Your man don't even have to wear cologne. If he has that beard oil, that's it. He doesn't even need cologne. It's all in one. Like if I said, when you get that beard on, you won't even need it. And I put that on this morning. I don't know what that fragrance is. But it's if I told you. Let me see. No, I can't put it together. It's distinct. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you, 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 you can whisper that. it in my ear. What you keep think? Keep that it. to yourself. Get you can whisper it in my ear what you think. What you think of it? But just smell it and then give me a. Because it still has a, a distinguished the, male Whatever type thought of comes to mind, whisper it. And I'll tell you if you're right. Because we can't say it for them. Because I, I don't need nobody trying to copy that. Is there a breather? Is there a care for some boxes for these? Do you have boxes for these? Yes, that'll be fine. Thank you. My pleasure. And I'll let Chris know that y'all ready for the dessert. Put okay. uh, the steak with the macaroni together. Put it together? Yeah, and then uh, that with the same. Yes, sir. Separate. You got it. Yeah. 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 So, I was saying, I'm going to So, I was saying, I don't know what the, the smell is. I need mean, one more time. It has a, a kind of a... Now, I don't want you to say anything out loud. Just you can whisper it with whatever your thought is, whisper it to me. I don't know, but I can't tell. Okay. I can't I can't pinpoint what it is. But whatever, whatever. it's balanced though. It's kind of a sweet smell, but also it gives me that mm, like that macho meal smell together. So is it a smell, is it a smell you would like to have like fall asleep to on your pillow or something? I could buy some and um, just drop, take a few drops and put it on the pillow beside me. That's or on a t-shirt, a big t-shirt. You know, we ladies like to wear t-shirts. So. See? Yeah. Stop playing. Yeah. You're right. That's something to make you want to eat somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Erica, very, even if I was to come to dinner by myself, I just love, I love trying new restaurants. I have my favorites, but I got to do it. Like some people have their vices, going to nice restaurants is, is my thing. You know what I mean? That's, everybody should should try out different spots, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sometimes your best friends or family members, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, sometimes they're not available and at that time, go grab you something to eat. You can go buy yourself? Because then you can go back and tell that person, oh, I tried so-and-so and it's good, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, that's, what, that's how I see it. Sometimes I come by myself and it's just a special. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to be the most extravagant. But if you guys decide to just have some time to yourself, just go somewhere, you know? No, I don't want her to say the smell out loud because then y'all know what's in my stuff. She says the facial expression says it all. People will it's, be going and looking at my, like <laughs> trying to make my, like duplicate it. Y'all know how y'all. It's a nice balance of, of sweet and just distinguished together. If you ladies know what I mean. It's a healthy balance between the two. Yeah, hey, I'm not telling y'all because then y'all gonna try to make my product. I already got. I already tell you what oils is on it in the back. On the, on the back of the bottle, it says what oils are being used in it. I'm not gonna tell you the fragrance. That's what makes my stuff my stuff. Mm -hmm. Argan oil. It's a lot of it's a lot of copycats out here. Broccoli seed oil, jojoba oil, and argan oil. 
that's all we need to know. Go to the website and, and it tells you the ingredients. Special fragrance can't tell you. Yeah. It smells like rip your man clothes off ASAP. That's what it smells like. Mm -hmm. That's what I've heard. So. It smells like <laughs> check your man's phone when he come back home. <laughs> That's what it smells like. I'm no, sorry. No, we not gonna I, check. I can't help it. You I know just, what? We not gonna check. I, I mean, don't, don't, don't. But I'm just telling you, it smells that good. That's all I'm saying. That's y'all know that smell good. It smells. Be your man's peace because when he goes out. You don't know I'm what just, kind of women are smelling his beard. I'm just yeah, I'm saying for the person who's who has those type of issues, uh, that's all. It just smells that good. It, you, I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying. I think if you just let the man just go, do what he's gonna do, and then when he comes home, I think that's a, a better conversation. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. But I'm just saying that's how good the, the stuff smells. Do you think that um, that that's an attractive trait? Yes. Like if if a man goes out. And then, no. like you say, you have the woman checks the phone. Do you think that's an attractive trait? Or would you prefer that your woman just be like, trust, even if she's feeling some type way. of way? Because, you know, we as women, we still feel some type of way from time to time. But we may just say, go on, babe, do your thing, enjoy yourself. But, you know, sometimes because we're only human. Yes. I would like the um, mocha cake. Cheesecake. Cheesecake to go, though. Yes, both to go. I mean, and I, I think back, wait, in our in the women's mind, we still kind of always have this thing that mm, is our man doing the right thing. But I believe that we get a better result if we just say, babe, go on out, have a good time, enjoy yourself, you know. Vice versa. And just see what the results are when your man comes, you know, home. Yeah, I would say vice versa yeah. because, you know, I'm knowledgeable enough to know that it's not just a woman thing, you know, some men, some men do that, some men want to check phones and ask a bunch of questions when they want to come in too, so I mean, it's a vice versa type thing, but me personally, I say, if you with somebody, trust them, you know, all of that, all that ain't called for, and it's okay to ask questions, but once it becomes like a full-time job to the same question you ask every day, then yes, that's when it becomes a problem, it becomes an issue like that. Only asking questions if the red flags come up. So not saying that you can't ask questions, but you know it's not always about what you ask; it's how you ask. Say, babe, you know, I was thinking about something, you know, and I felt this kind of way, you know, when this happened a few nights ago. But not being accusatory, and sometimes you can get better results. So that's right. That's right. Because I believe that when. Um, when you have two people, you have to allow one another to be who they are. So allow your man to be them, and then as a woman, they have to allow you to be you. Allow you to be happy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a little uncomfortable when you start saying, no, babe, go out and enjoy yourself with your boys, you know, you know enjoy yourself I'll be here or I'm gonna go hang out with my girls it's a little uncomfortable in the beginning but once you do it you know it's it's definitely a game changer now see I'm just because I like to feed into some of the comments and some of the places y'all go I see some of you guys saying I look comfortable and I see some of you guys saying I look uncomfortable so because I am a skit master I'm gonna break this down for the ones you just won something. One of you guys won. I'm going to tell you who it was. The one who said that I look comfortable. You won. You, you actually, your eyes seen something real. Now, I'm going to give you a demonstration of what uncomfortable would look like. This is this would be uncomfortable over here like this. Try to say something. It's like, try to touch me or something. I'm straight. Like, what are you doing? Let me touch you. That's uncomfortable, guys. Being relaxed. You know, I'm just, I got to give you guys a great demonstration, but sometimes, y'all y'all be reading body language so, so wrong. Look, my my arms is on my titties. <laughs> How the hell am I uncomfortable? Look, and you, I'm, you know what's here? I'm comfortable here? just laying on you right with Come your on, arms she's so. right here on the shoulder. Right. So I just wanted to break that part down. I got to keep it entertaining for you guys. So, all right.
<laughs> it's good vibes though. Good, good vibes. vibes. It's, it's a good love, night. Love. And you know what? The weather is perfect. It's time to um, put on your wine color hats, your coats, your boots. Ladies, it's time to get out and enjoy yourself. Hercules Brown, appreciate it. Yeah, and you know, and probably in a few more weeks, they'll have the Christmas lights on the streets. I love that whole ambiance. So, I'm ready. <laughs> y'all be so funny. I'm glad I was able to do that. I'm about to give y'all some more of them type of demonstrations when I see stuff. Y'all so crazy. So funny, people. I wonder if, I'm trying to stop. I wonder if I can read. Since y'all read body language, I'm not to see if I can read comment language. It's hard. Like, cause you never know because what I've learned on social media is some people say the most hateful and hurtful things, but they really love you. That's crazy to me. I want y'all to give this play. Like, if you love me, I want to see your comments. Show me that you love me. You dig what I'm saying? That's what we got to learn. As far as just social media etiquette for us as human beings, I think we need to learn to show that we love the people that we follow and support on social media instead of making it seem like you may hate the person that you follow. Because it's, it's definitely, I don't understand, I can't, I can't understand it. Because I know in real life it's love, I know that. But make the comments look as such. That's all I'm saying here. I love all of you. But when you come in, show love. But see, we live in a world now, and that's why I want to explain that to you. We live in a world now where you know how you hear about toxic all the time. Mm -hmm. Toxic is toxic is one of the number one characteristic traits of human beings now in 2023. That's all you hear is toxic, toxic, toxic. And some people like that. So that type of behavior, flirting nowadays has become toxic. You'll see somebody on somebody's live and they'll call you. I know you heard, hey, big head. Right? Mm -hmm. Big head is considered flirting. Right. Now, I don't know if you guys know that. But some, some, some of the people in here are older than me. Some of y'all may be younger. But when somebody says big head, don't hey, get mad. Big head, uh -uh, no, that's, that's kind of like a, a term of endearment. Yeah. So. Nowadays. See, that's what I'm saying. You got to understand it's, it's different times. When I was a kid, big head was an insult. <laughs> Nobody wanted to be called Big Head. Big old head. your big old head. That was in, insulting then. Not now. Thank you. I had to learn a few years ago that a person saying, calling me Big Head, meant they wanted to screw me. <laughs> I had to learn that because I was like, don't call me no Big Head. They said, I just want to do something with you. I was like, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm good on that. Just be nice. Big head, I, I found out that's what big head is flirting. So now you see people say you're ugly. Ugly is flirting nowadays. You so ugly, next thing you know they're in the DM trying to give you their number. So listen people, just be nice. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> And you know, another thing I was thinking about, I saw someone in the comments mention about looking in each other's eyes. You know, sometimes you have to realize that what you see on camera, you have to appreciate the, the moment that you're spending with, with anyone. So it doesn't necessarily mean you got to be gazing into my eyes. You know, I've always been a hopeless romantic. So, you know, I made my mannerisms may be a little bit different. But and see and see and see y'all watching, but see, and that comes from watching so much TV too. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta understand. To all of us, as a kid, we watched the screen. All we watched our parents. Mm -hmm. Just the thought of marriage and all of that it comes from romance. You watch the romance TV stuff. You see all of that. You see the gazing into the. I'm. I'm I can do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Show y'all. <laughs> so now, if, if this is a TV show, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You know, if this is TV. You know. And I'm looking like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Cut it out. See, she's like, she's, listen, right now she's probably like, if I pour this water on this. We like the white picket fence and all that, but. If I pour this water on here, what's going to happen? This is going to be wet, right? All I'm saying is, come on, man. Y'all, y'all, what you trying to do? Just go on vibe, you know? You want me to make all y'all go out and get married? You want me to make all y'all go out and get married? 
just like just a gaze like this. If somebody <laughs> is somebody looking in y'all's face like that, when no, but listen, this is what this is what they don't understand. It's a man looking in every one of y'all's faces like that right now. But you're doing too much neck popping and doing you're doing the neck popping with the attitude. You can't see it. So the, the look goes away. The person the person is looking at you mesmerized. But then once you start popping that neck and doing all that right there, now his look goes to never mind. Just relax. Enjoy the moment. You it have doesn't it. always have to be a script. It's right there. It's right there. Your king is looking you in the eyes, but you your neck moving popping too much. Man, we can't we can't stay focused. See, you notice when I looked at her like that, wasn't no neck popping or nothing like that. <laughs> no, look like she's about to melt. I'm laughing because I know your love language. No, she's, I know about to melt. <laughs> she's about to melt. <laughs> Do it again. Let me see. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I can't help it. That's cool, but that's how it's supposed to be. Got all this toxic, cuss each other out, man, rolling the neck. Be your man's peace, ladies. And he needs to be your peace. So it goes both ways. And it will. Yeah. I can promise you. If you be their peace, some, and you know what? you know what I just thought about? Sometimes we always say, well, no, he needs to do this first, and then I'll do it. But step back a moment, and just sometimes you change the narrative, and you do something different. That's true, man. I, I, and if I hear that you be more <laughs> submissive, you be more vulnerable, step back. You don't always have to be rah, 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 rah to get your point across. Because I always believe that you can get more bees with honey than you do vinegar. And if you do step back, you'll see that man's, his whole behavior, his reactions, everything about him is going to change. I promise you. Your femininity is your superpower. Super, super, super. Superpower. And again, like, from both parties, man, all of them. <laughs> from, both, from both parties, man. What she said is 100% accurate. If your partner doesn't take the first step, then you just do it. You yep. take the first step it to make the change matter. and see what happens then. Now, if you take the next, the first step and nothing happens, then you can evaluate it. You can sit down and have a talk about it. But if they don't make the move first, you make the same way you would do if you was about to kiss somebody. Somebody got to make the first move. It ain't no, well, you ain't kiss me, so I ain't kiss you. We don't do that. The first person that makes the first move, you, you go for it. You might close your eyes when you do it, but either way, you do it. So it's like double dutch. Don't hesitate to jump in there. Just get in there. That's true. That's kind of like, remember we were talking about this earlier about how, you know, sometimes like we were brought up as, as young girls. We take care of the baby dolls. We learn, we have the kitchenette sets. We learn how to cook. We do all that. Well, the men, the boys, they're taught. They have the race cars. They're taught with the basketballs. And you know how we were talking about, I think that those roles should be interchanged so that both can know, you know, how that particular male or, or female, you know, how they should, should grow up. Is. You guys are learn, you know, how to be masculine and yeah. how to be feminine. That's I think those roles, like, if, you know, with a girl, teach them some masculine things. With a boy, teach them some feminine things. So, I'm I trying to think of the feminine be. things that they can teach you all we take Maybe a baby doll we could have a baby doll and you guys could nah. change the diet i'm talking about when you're little boys i'm not talking about now when you're little boys see we're taught those things from a young age i think that if the roles are interchanged not saying that we're trying to make men feminine but i think if the roles are interchanged when early on that we can relate better when we become adults you know you can understand women more you know, you see, women you see, can understand you see boys get things like houses, yes. which teaches structure a lot of times. Yes. So, like, when you're building things, it teaches structure, mm -hmm. balance. What goes here to make this work? Right. What's going to make this house stand up? Structure. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? If you don't do it the right, the right way, what happens? The whole house falls down. Yeah, the structure of it. 
So I, I definitely think like like the easy bake ovens and stuff like that usually are only given to little girls as well. I feel like the easy bake oven can go to the boys yeah. too because that's universal. That's teaching them. And then when, when boys grow up, then they know the concept of cooking in the yeah. kitchen. And this is what, you know, what, what home life is about. Because think about it, when boys go out, you know, if when they graduate from high school, if they go to college, they really don't know how to cook. Mm -hmm. So I think we should interchange those roles that way, you know. So, you know, we always say men are so strong, you know, oh, oh, he's a man. He can take that, you know, but men have daggers in their back just as well as we do. So, <laughs> somebody said, what's with the closing of the eyes? So I think that um, we all have tough roles. So we can support one another. Um, Foundation if you in a always. yeah, if you're in a relationship, support your man. Sometimes if you have to step back, you know, sometimes he may have to step back. You might have to say, you know what, I digress. Now, that's one thing I want to say before I even close this live up. You, you know, I can tell they like, what's going on? They see me. <laughs> I can tell how they keep coming over. They're like, what is he doing? Oh, we but entertaining anyway, our family, so it doesn't matter. This is what I want to say to the to the people. What's the, I'm going to have a, a full discussion about this later, maybe tomorrow, a full discussion about this. What are the top three things that men and women look for when looking for a significant other? Stability is one of those things. Defin top, I think that's one of the top of the list for women. I don't feel like men look for stability. So it's going to be different. But for, for women, I'm going to let you help me with this. Women, what's the first thing? Of course, we want to feel protected. protected. We want to feel provided for, protected. So that falls under yeah. stability with providing. Mm -hmm. so protection, stability, what else? Um, I would say... It has to be nice looking. You like, know I mean, what? It's important, you, you right? know, I'm not... Is it, is, is it important? Is this, cause we got, I'm I think I'm it's important to, get, to a certain degree, but if a man or woman has confidence, I think that... That's all that matters. So you may not be the most attractive person, but I think that if you have the confidence and you just don't care what anybody says, I think that that takes you a longer, takes you further than it would. But I'm just saying for the majority of people, though, mm -hmm. is looks at the top of the list. Well, we majority. know men most often like, you know, a, that type of woman, a, a dime piece on their arms. But you know, as we as women, we can take a ugly booger bear. But it's, if he got that confidence, and, you but, know, but we, we gotta, we gotta to drink that bourbon, and he just, you know, he just got that smell and that, that but, walk. We we can deal with a ugly. See, but see, but what does that do? <laughs> see everything that you're good. naming. No, but what you're naming? Okay, <laughs> now let's go back to it. We've all seen Flavor of Love. Shout out to my boy Flavor Flav. When you have stability. You dress nice, smell nice, all of these things that she says. For women, that actually steps it up to a whole nother notch, too. You, you actually are more attractive when you have all of those things. So, because of those things, again, stability, charm, and all of that. Obviously, we're going to add all of that in there with that. Um, pursue. Protection. We definitely, um, we like the men to pursue us. Mm -hmm. Even if we may try to, you know, act like we don't like it or we run away, we like you to pursue us. Thanks. You know? So, definitely. And, I, and I, I feel like it's both ways as far as the attention side. But, like I said, when a man, he's going to pick somebody who's very beautiful. It's got to be very easy on the eyes for most men. That's in the top category. Um, stability is not too crazy for unless a person, if he ain't stable like that, then that may be something that he's looking for. But for the most part, looks is one thing. So one thing when it comes to men, what I'm starting to see with a lot of men that be insecure over the woman they chose. You chose someone who's a dime, and then now you're insecure. You know that every other person is checking for that same dime. So even with the other, this other side of it, when a woman, woman picks a man, the person you pick, a lot of other people are interested in that person as well, and we both know this as men and women. So that's where we have to figure out how. We can be more trusting. And then understand this too. Stay on your A game. Men and women, you have to stay on your A game. That's what happens a lot in a lot of relationships. Once you get in a relationship, you get comfortable. And you go from A game to F game. Mm -hmm. 
we know what grades are. A is the best, F is the worst. So when you get that person, you have to stay at A. Stay at A, remain. Because everybody outside is trying to get with that person is bringing their A game. While you're giving them F game at home, the people outside are bringing their A game every time they see the people. So you just gotta be mindful of that, and that's me and that one. Stay solid though. If you you in the relationship, stay solid. Because the A game is gonna come. You have to stay solid. That's why I said loyalty over everything. And someone said a nice smile and walk. I just want to say this. If he doesn't have the nicest smile, that's something you can teach him. That's something you can work on. If he doesn't have the nice walk. Me, How are you going to teach him how to walk? You can tell. I'll be like, babe, look. You wobbling a little bit. So I don't know. You might, might want. might be drunk. I you might have a hurt leg. <laughs> But you no, I mean, those way. are like more character. Those are more things on the surface. We're talking about things that are deep inside. You know, you can have someone with a mouth full of rotten teeth. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can't work with that person. You can build that person up to be the person that you want to be with. So I would think that I, I do, honestly, I look at nails. When I meet a, a man, I look at his nails and I look at his shoes. He doesn't have to have, to have the most expensive shoes. But they don't need to be dirty. It's got to be clean. Yeah, they got to be clean shoes. That's the same thing for us with women, man. We, we like a yeah. clean pair of shoes. You know, men don't really care about the brand name when mm -hmm. it comes to a woman. Not the right man, man. If a man worried about what your brand of your shoes is, then skip on by them. <laughs> and maybe he can buy them. If he's concerned about the name brand, then the man can buy that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if he chooses to do that. But if he's concerned about your brand names, then that's, to me, that should be a red flag. I mean, it teaches on. Yeah. But I just said, if a man is concerned or a woman is concerned about, um, you know, brand names, then they can purchase those things for their mate. No, if they totally truly understand. desire for them to have those. So I totally understand. But me, it could be, it could be the richest woman in the world. For me, mm -hmm. if a woman says, I need you wearing Gucci every day, even if they choose to buy it, nah, that's too, something ain't right about that. Well, I, I say, as a woman, let her buy it. If she desires... Nah, I'm cool, I'm good. But no, I'm just saying, if she just, says, I want you to have Gucci every day, you don't have to wear it, but let her buy it. I'm going to say, why? <laughs> if you're not the owner of Gucci... I wouldn't question her. Let I'm her questioning buy. that. That's, to me, that's, that's too strange. To me. That's control. Mm -hmm. No, not necessarily. If they say they want you to have Gucci, and they I mean, you, you don't have to wear it every Gucci. day, but it could be a gift. But what if they say the only thing I want you to wear is Gucci? Oh no, that makes. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna say that. Come on now. I'm like, giving. I'm just giving. I'm just giving y'all some stuff because there's be a lot of stuff going on. So I'm just giving y'all some different. Things. Yeah, I don't think nobody's gonna actually say that. I gotta give y'all some humor. Something y'all can talk about. That's the one y'all gonna talk about. Yeah. Like, well, what if somebody said I can wear Gucci all the time? Then y'all gonna say y'all's take on it. So. It is what it is. Okay, now let's ask this. So are you willing, to, the next spot I want to go to, are you willing to go? Without asking any questions, or will you just go? Are you just going to trust me? what it is. I just want to, I want to take you somewhere, but I don't want you to ask me where. I like to know, I'm going to be honest. No. Like, I don't know what the atmosphere well, is. I'm, I'm very big on atmosphere. Like Jamie Foxx Wait a minute, we don't, wait, Let's let's go back. You don't even have to ask me about atmosphere. You even I know. Do, I need to know. Wait, wait, wait. You know me. So I'll wait, you wait. You I'll know you me. Why. Wait. No, you know me, but trust me. If I tell you I'm going to take you somewhere, you already know me. That it's going to be somewhere where you can go, you're going to feel comfortable, and we're going to have a good time. You know that. Come on now. You know I'm not going to take you somewhere. Huh? So y'all got his word now. No, if we I'm go live from the spot, You'll know that he took me up on it. So, I think that... I, I'll answer that later. But I, ain't answering <laughs> right now. But I just said, if we go live, had, they'll I've know that he took me do, up on it. I've had people do pranks on me throughout my I'm life. I'm not so. people, and you know that I'm not going to prank No, but you. I see people do pranks every day on the internet. You already know I, I know the vibes. Come on now. I see it. I see all types of people doing pranks every day. You, you think might, I would go prank to, you? go to a restaurant and a dude come out serving something butt naked. That's, what? That's, no. that's a place I don't want to be. No, I don't want to be nowhere like that. Come on now. You already know the vibes. Thank you all for joining. So we're going to kind of have a good time tonight. Thanks Enjoy. for tuning in, guys. Y'all yeah. hit that share button. We love y'all. Mm -hmm. Hit the subscription button if you see it.
on one of the on these pages. I don't think the subscription button popping up. Cash like, app ain't popping up. Share. Not cash app, but stars not comments. popping up. But the cash app is popped up in the caption of the video. So. Yeah. Peace out, man. I love y'all. Hopefully you guys were entertained and y'all took some positivity from this. Hit that share button. Hit that share button. Hit that share button. I'm out. Peace. All right. Love y'all. Good night.